Hello and welcome to this Tango video tutorial about backward crosses. In this video we will show you different combinations of how to start the dance with a backward cross and then continue with something else and also to have backward crosses instead of ochos in a chain. And then to finish we will see maybe combinations to take it into a forward boleo. We already have another video about backward crosses as a first intro if you have never done anything with backward crosses. So here we expect that you already are a little bit familiar and longing for new combinations and details about it. What do we need to communicate that the backward cross can work out? We need to lead that the pelvis of our partner stays very calm. And by that, if I move the axis, she will not take the pivot, but keep the parallel alignment of her pelvis towards me. And uh, by that, the backward cross is happening. Uh, we start with a very simple little side step, can be hip wide or a little bit um, shoulder wide. And I just invite her to go away and come back. So, ah. there are two uh, aspects. One is that I go a little bit into suspense. And the other one that you see now in the profile is that I create a little bit outside energy, a little bit of Kolgada feeling. Later, it could be millimeters. Now to practice it, we start, so we expand in suspension and I send her away and I call her back. We have this philosophy that we take responsibility of our own comfort, that we feel good. This is very important for you followers. If you do the backward cross, that you give a nice release afterwards. Of course, we should also lead this, but um, more important is that even if it's not led, maybe later, that you uh, do something that feels good in this moment. Let's start with um, an exercise that we lead ourselves a backward cross for both roles. So we take a little step, we grow a little bit backwards and we do a backward cross. We do a change of weight and again to the other side. Little step, grow and we do a backward cross. Change of weight and little side step. Feel how you lead yourself with the standing leg. You push your pelvis a little bit back and you invite your center back to take the backward cross. Two more times, and da, and here. Also know that we are not sitting down with bent knees, but we are about to have the same height. Second exercise is that from the first intro, we can do a lapis, and directly have a second cross. And feel also how here there is not too much up and down. There's a little bit of up and a little bit of release, but all in a frame that is not too extreme. Have a look. Did you stay on the spot or did you go backward or did you even go forward? If you're very extreme in releasing that, it could be that you are moving forward. At the moment, we don't want to do extreme things, so we want to release as much that we stay on the same spot again. Um, maybe you repeat this for yourself a couple of times more that you're comfortable. Now, when you're with your partner, take a comfortable embrace, 
can be half open, so a little bit more closed than normal open embrace, not yet completely closed. Take a small step and we create a little bit of space here. And from this we go to the cross from cross system. Let's have that look from the other side. So I'm with her, little step, invite her to take the first step, check. We have uh, different possibilities to accompany this first step. I could leave this without anything. So I just wait for her and then step. Sometimes it can be useful that uh, after the small step, I still do a second step to align better to my partner. This depends on, on the size of the step. Ah. I need to come to her, um, or uh, here I don't need to do it. This is something I don't plan. I create this space. Uh, it amplifies this feeling of releasing. It's always easier to transmit this release when you're also moving yourself. So, by that, um, I recommend do once the version just to wait for her and to go. And afterwards, do a step five centimeters, but with this... Ah, the second step, you release also your hip and uh, whole body. Ah, and by that, she will copy your intention. Let's see that in close embrace. So from this small opening, I create the space, second step, and we go. Cross from cross system, other side. Small step, prepare, receive together, and it's done. With the second step, I can also create a little bit more space in order that she has enough space to do the D-cross. Speaking about the D-cross, in the beginning, don't think too much about it. It's one movement that is suspension and the release. The more you get familiar with the backward cross, the more you can separate the movement that uh, first you have the suspension, then you have the arriving, and then you have the release. And this will be the moment that afterwards we can play with pivots to create the boleo or a sacada. Um, so let's try this. We have the first step, create the suspense, change the weight, receive her. Ah and then have the release. One more time from this perspective. We go. I have there. In the dance, these three moments have a fluid transition. Um, I'm mentioning it because sometimes it happens that you do everything at once and by that it's creating a little bit uh, an accent that we don't want, but also it doesn't feel as comfortable, as smooth as it could feel. So we encourage you, don't rush. Easy version, uh, grow and melt, receive. Uh, wait until she's ready and then you go. A little bit more precise would be to have the growing, arrive, and release in the controlled way. This one was the easy side. Let's try now the other side. So we have a little opening and again I do it with a second little step and I do a second backward cross as we did just before. Now we would come towards you and get out of the picture. 
Let's suppose there is a room, what can we do? We could do a pivot. So we have the opening, the, yep, second, and here I do a pivot and I continue to the cross from cross system again. One time from this perspective, so we have the apertura, I change the weight, receive the backward cross, second backward cross, quarter of a turn, and into the cross. One time in close embrace. So, apertura, around, receive the backward cross, second cross, pivot, and cross from cross system. One variation could be to change the leg. So in the moment that she is doing the backward cross, I go to the other leg. So here I would exit in parallel system. Also it feels nice because again we search for the transfer of weight at the same time. And then we go. Now let's pass to the version with the voleo. We take the second structure. So we have opening, first backward cross, second backward cross, and we have the follower with weight on both feet. And now we start to spiralize the movement and we grow together. And then we have exit to the cross as before. One more time. Here it's even more important that we feel this growing, releasing, growing, releasing. And now when we grow and we have the spiralization, the boleo will happen. Don't search for the boleo with the free leg. Always the standing leg. So, can you do it wrong, Iris? No. The, yes, <laughs> exactly. You can kick your partner, as you saw. Uh, but also, sometimes then it's just uh, the left leg that is searching for the movement and the rest is uh, too passive. So it's the right leg and the whole body that is searching for the expansion that gives the impulse for this movement and then as a result the free leg is wrapping around uh, the center and creating the voleo. You can do this also in close embrace. So we have the opening, track, second step, track, and we create the voleo. Now I'm in a position that I also could take the cross system to the other side. Let's show it one more time from here. Apertura, change the weight for the leader, backward cross. Second backward cross, weight on both legs, track, voleo, and we release with a backward ocho. To finish this video, we will dance backward crosses applied to the music.